Uh, first, I'd like to say it was one of the most compelling basketball games that I have ever been a part of. And both teams are, are warriors. And you can see how how competitive and how much you know both these teams want to win. Um, our guys here are just on a whole nother level. Their, their will, their passion to help each other, they're not selfish. If somebody's not, you know, hurt, they'll say, hey, you got to get so-and-so in the game. I mean, these guys are veterans and we are so lucky to have them with team power and certainly with, uh, with Baby. What, what a performance by Corey, Catino, and Baby. Um, very, very proud to be your coach. Everybody. I mean, I mean, I'm just going to piggyback, sorry. I'm just going to piggyback off what Nancy said. Uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of old guys on the court, and um, we still got a little bit in the tank. But it was, it was truly, man, perseverance. You know, I, you know, I, I, just, I just think about, you know, my faith, <laughs> my faith in God. And, and a lot of times you, you got to persevere through obstacles. And we had multiple obstacles this game. You know, me coming in with a hamstring pull last game, big baby, a tear in his calf. Uh, Catino now, you know, with the groin, me with the hamstring again. And we had those guys on the bench fighting. Our bench is fighting. amazing. Fighting. Our bench know. is amazing. Our so, team, I love our team. team. It's our team, team is amazing. Up. I mean, we fought. I mean, that was a great game. Great team. I would say we planned it like that, but I'd be lying. Right? Like, I mean, Corey, you know, messed his hamstring up last week, and every single day since he was working hard. I was working hard because I knew I had to take the load just in case Corey wasn't ready. Big baby sprained his calf. You know, I mean, we just fighters, right? Coach believed in us, checked on us every day. That team's a really good team. Amari Stoudemire, Jermaine O'Neal, David Hawkins, you know, Nate Robinson, that team's, team's a good team. Uh, you know, and I'm just, you know, I'm just happy that we, we, we came out of there, you know, with the W. But you know, Mo, you can get you right with Out of Bounds Sports. Even with your, uh, you pulling your groin, the key to you um, scoring baskets was your first step. How did you manage to keep a, a quick first step getting to the basket? How did that happen? Well, it's strategy, right? Uh, it's more so uh, placing the ball. Right. That's one. And two is when, when they're in a bonus, that's when you use it because they can't touch it. So, um, you know, I'm not young and quick no more. So it's got to be uh, more it's so. You are? Kind of. Yeah, but you still can, though. You still can. Man. You know, yeah. but it's, it's, it's more so a strategy, right? right. You're in a bonus. You kind of use your speed and put the ball out there, so the ball's you know faster than the feet. So that 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 kind of helped me, and uh, that's what made me get the angle on Hawkins to kind of go up 47 to 43. But that's when I popped my uh, groin. But you know, listen, from Maggette to, to to Birdman to Big Baby, the coach calling the plays. I mean, guys on the sideline. You know, I was pissed off when I popped it. You know, because I knew Corey was already hurt. But I mean, we came through, you know, uh, big baby. I don't, I don't even know what happened, how we got the ball. Big baby, it was a big, you know, it was a big defensive possession. You know, and we, we talk about it, and coaches and Nancy could, could, could follow up to this. And, you know, you have to have active hands, you know, and all the great coaches in the league is talking about active hands, active hands, because you never know when it's crunch time where you have a possession where you can get a, get a steal. And next thing you know, you get the possession. Your, your team can go to the, go to the basket for a foul shot or get a bucket. And so we we really, you know, strived off trying to be a better defensive team. I mean, I think even for me coming in this entire year, you know, it wasn't even about the scoring or anything else. It was about me trying to be healthy and play the hardest defense. And, and we have to get credit to that because in three on three, you know, you're on the island. You have to play defense. If you don't, you're going to get smoked on this court. Right. Because you got really a lot, good of, offensive lot players. of good offensive players. And so, you know, I, I'm just, you know, I don't know what else to say, but I'm just so happy for, for Nancy. I, I just want to say everybody. really quick, not to interrupt Corey. Thanks, thanks for cutting me off, too. But I just want to <laughs> say, because according to get I told Corey last year, and he, I said, all I need is you. And that sounds like a love story, but I'm serious. All I needed was Corey. And God bless him, but not just Corey, but Nancy Lieberman and 
Ben Tavis and Birdman and Q and Xavier and Ryan and Jocelyn, like it was just. Jocelyn, this, this the is the one that got us. Jocelyn going. is She's the one that keeps us. Yeah. This is the one that's been keeping us this, healthy. This is the one that keeps us, you know, these old guys going, you know, and uh, I just, you know, Corey, he, he, he kept his promise for me, and uh, now we're in the championship. Nancy, the one thing you're playing, uh, Bill Clark Sports out of Dallas, I talked to you openly in Houston about the family environment that you guys have on this team. What has been the one thread that's been able to keep you guys through all of this adversity? Well, first, we love each other, and we care about each other's people, and we do talk throughout the week. I mean, I was at the Yankee game, and, the, and Corey's calling me about baby. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter where we are. They got on a conference call, you know, and called earlier in the week just to give me the status. And then we game plan together. You know, they give me credit. Let me tell you, this man put in plays. He came with options. There's plays that Corey has put in during the course of the year, plays that I have put in. We work to our strength. I want to know what they know. And I want to impart what I know so we can make this work. But we have high character basketball players on our team. They have such a will to win. Um, and, and I want to say this, I, was, I said it last week, this is the MVP of the Big Three League this year, okay? It's going fact. to happen. It's a fact, fact, okay? Before we even tabulate, this young man came back from tearing his Achilles tendon a year ago to you heard what Katina, you know, said how much he needed. It is a love story. These guys have been playing since the Clippers. And there is a love and a brotherhood. We wanted these guys to be in the championship game. They were one possession away a year ago. And I will say that Clyde Drexler, who was the coach of power, uh, the cupboards were full when I got here, okay? So it wasn't like I got here and made magic. Uh, there was really great You're talent Lady Magic. Here. Lady Lady Magic. Magic. <laughs> but we can we can be strong with each other, but it's we're never angry at each other. In the heat of the battle, this guy wants to play on one leg. Sorry, we're gonna give you a <laughs> competitors don't want to get off the court. He doesn't want to come off the court. End of the game, I have Baby and Corey and or and Catino, and they went, it's time. Okay, go in. We can talk to each other like that because there's a trust, there's a belief, and there's a respect. And, and I don't want to take anything away from Xavier Silas, who has been my right arm, uh, JYD, who gives us so much energy and helps us in practice. Uh, Birdman is a consummate team player. And I say it all the time, Quentin Richardson, he is ready whenever we need him. And that's the beauty of having chemistry. And we have chemistry. And I'm, I'm just happy for them. Big threes, Corey. I was leaving. Last question, guys. Jay Horn, uh, out of bounds sports. Coach, uh, you're amazing. Uh, Father's going to make it history. Uh, uh, we know that you was getting these guys ready for a basketball game. Did you game plan for such a tough game or such a rugged game? Or did you know that was going to happen? And did you know we go to Big Baby to take care of everything in the post? We knew it was going to be physical. We were going to set the tone and the tempo of the physicality. We wanted them to have to match our intensity. We're in charge of that, of tone and aggression. And we will do that all the time. These guys, they might be Christians and, and really wonderful guys. These, I got dogs, okay? You, you, you cannot play sports and not have dogs on your team. And we have them, and, and I say that in the most respectful way. Uh, they just have this lockdown mentality to win, and I'm just so proud of them. And I don't know where Jocelyn went. Jocelyn. She's okay. hiding. This woman right here. Come up here, Jocelyn. You need to come, come up, up here. here. Sorry, you, got to. you have to. Come here, Puerto Rico. She is, she can salsa, but she can also <laughs> get guys healthy on no time at all. We could not do what we do without this woman, okay? I mean, she, she, I don't know if you sleep, but she's working on them every day, all day, six hours a day, and she keeps us healthy. We, we, you are a blessing to us. Good job. So thank Good you. Job. Yeah. They are the ones that do all the work. So.
Man, we just again, we just want to thank. I'm sorry, cut you off, but this, you know, we just want to thank Ice Cube and Jeff Quanzit, Amy Trask for. Jeff, I'm sorry for uh, cussing you out. But uh, we just we thankful for, for 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 those guys giving us an opportunity, man. The Big Three has provided second <coughs> chance for for all retired players and to further their career. And you know, again, I just think it's great that these guys that you haven't heard from in a, in a long time, you get to see them, you get to see them over again. And you know, Q's vision, he was able to do that. And so I'm just happy for him to have the vision and to put it to work. And uh, all the people who have worked, the staff. I mean, it's a lot of people who, who needs to get a lot of credit for a year or two for the big three. I'm just so thankful. I know our team is. Uh, we're looking for another, you know, big three for season three. You know, so I'm just thankful. That I just want to say that to about the Cube and those guys. And, and we echo what you're saying, but I, I'm going to close on this. We don't want to be the echo. We want to be the voice. And that's who we are. Thank you so much, Thanks, Dallas. God bless you.